What's up guys, it's Brad from JVH Media here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how you can use stock footage to create a heat distortion effect onto a shot that you've already added your fire stock footage to. There are a few of these tutorials online on how you can kind of create a heat distortion effect. Some of them are kind of lengthy, so I thought I'd just break it down into the simplest process that I've found works best for me. So let's get started here. So here's kind of the original shot without the heat distortion. As you can see, we've kind of tracked on some fire to the uh, Molotov cocktail rag here, but there's not really any heat distortion from that fire. But along with the stock footage, I kind of have some uh, orange solids that are adding a little flicker and glow effect to it, uh, but that's kind of up to your preference. So let's get started here on this heat distortion. So assuming you have fire in your composition, let's go ahead and take all of your fire elements along with any tracking null objects you have and the live action footage and go ahead and duplicate them. Okay. So once you've duplicated them, we're going to go ahead and pre-compose them. And we're going to call it displacement. And this is the layer we're going to use to kind of create the pattern for the warping heat distortion effect. So go ahead and open our pre-composition and take all of the torch effects and scale them up a little bit. We're not actually going to be seeing the fire itself. This is just simply the pattern for the heat distortion. So it's okay if it's a little bigger because we want that outside of where the fire is heating up the air to be heated as well. So think of this as a pattern that will be distorting the air around the fire you have in your original shot. So just kind of scale it up a little bit. I'm going to overdo it for the sake of the tutorial so you can see it. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck the live action shot and then go back to our composition. Okay, so go ahead and uncheck the displacement layer that we just created. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create an adjustment layer to add the displacement map. Okay, and we'll go ahead and rename this adjustment layer to displacement and bring it down to where the uh, pre-comp is. Now let's go ahead and go to effect, distort, displacement map. Now we just added a displacement map effect to the adjustment layer. And we're gonna go, let's go ahead and increase the displacement to 15 horizontal and 15 vertical, so we have a little bit to work with. And as you can see, it's kind of playing with this footage, but it's not actually doing what we want yet. Let's go ahead and change the displacement map layer to displacement, which is our pre-comp right here. And now what it's doing is it's actually using the displacement map pre-composition of the fire we created to create that heat distortion. So as you can see, if we increase the horizontal displacement, it's using that fire pattern to distort everything below that adjustment layer. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. Um, aside from just kind of tweaking how much displacement you want, this is kind of the final result and the fastest way you can add kind of a quick little fire displacement and heat distortion effect. So here's the final result. I'll go ahead and play it for you. Anyway, that's kind of the general idea. As you can see, where all all this all this little displacement map is doing is just distorting the footage around the fire. If you go ahead and uncheck it, you can see it's distorting uh, the fire and all the air around the fire. Anyway, that's it, guys. Hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. The GBS Media Facebook page is in the description below if you want to like it there to get the latest updates. Feel free to do so. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope this helps.